Welcome to the vlog. I'm Lauren. I'm a self-taught adult beginner recorder player and I'm trying to work as a tortoise biting my foot. I am trying to work my way through Trinity College London's digital grade exams for the recorder. I'm out in the garden, not only because the weather's pretty lovely at the moment, but also in honour of the first piece of music that I'm learning for my Grade 2 exam. It's from the Baroque Recorder Anthology, published by Schott, and it is another Jakob van Eyck piece. In English, the title of the piece is Sweet Summertime, and yes, I am chickening out of pronouncing the Dutch. I'll put that down there. For the Grade 2 exam, you choose three pieces of music two that you play with an accompaniment and one that is unaccompanied, which for me is this one. Some of the feedback that I got from my grade one exam was that I missed some opportunities to play the music with more expression. So I reckon because this one is unaccompanied that I can have a bit of free license to have a play around. I've kind of got several different ways that I like to play this piece. Sometimes I play it quite bouncily and jauntily, other times more flowing. Um, I really haven't settled on a version, so I'll just play it and see what comes out today. Please excuse me, sitting cross-legged. My tortoise is on the floor and he keeps attacking my feet. The things I really like about Sweet Summertime is that it does what it says on the tin. It really does sound like a Sweet Summertime. You know, in Vivaldi's Summer, it's all lovely and floaty and light, but then this bit of darkness creeps in and it's like there's a thunderstorm on the way. Not so with Van Eyck's Summer Day. It's just a lovely, bright summer's day. This is the first piece that I've started to learn for grade two. I would say compared to grade one, there isn't a massive leap in difficulty necessarily. I would say the main difference is the length of the piece. For grade one I also did a Van Eyck piece and you just had to play the main theme. For this it's the main theme and the first variation so there's more to get through without making a mistake but it's such a lovely piece. I am just really enjoying practicing it and I think that makes all the difference. If you've enjoyed this vlog please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. This is part of a series of vlogs I do following my progress or lack of 
as I go through the grades. Thank you so much for watching, hope to see you again next time, bye!